All right, good morning, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, I told you guys I would give you a rundown of the trailers, so that's what we're doing here this morning. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the front. Um, nothing too special. We're going to put a little mounting bracket so we can mount a propane bottle here. It's already got some tubing and everything ran, so probably going to replace this hose. Actually, definitely going to replace that hose. Uh, any hoses on here are going to get replaced. Going to mount the propane bottle. And I'm excited about the propane, not just because of propane, but because of this thing here. Uh, this is a gas lantern <clears throat> inside of the trailer. So there's one in there and there's one in the little cook space, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. Uh, but I'm really excited about trying to get that figured out. I know I need to find a globe for it and, and stuff. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, but I really, really, really want to get that set up because what an original, like a uh, characteristic to the trailer. Cause it's from 1960, you know? So that's really cool. They also, somebody else installed, you can see right back there, a, uh, just something for a regular light bulb. So, but yeah, this is, uh, the inside. There's a little shelf here for all of your stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Sure, I'm going to paint it white on the inside, and I'm going to put a mattress that covers the whole thing. Um, let's see. This is just a little cabinet, and there's some of the wires and stuff in here, but it's a little bit of storage. So, um, you know, you can put, I probably might put like a, <clears throat> a little shelf, a couple little shelves in here or something. I uh, haven't made much of a plan for that space yet, but it's available. Um... There's doors on either side. This is something I really like. Look, so there's no AC in it, although I'm going to try and figure that out. But look at this. These windows crank open and shut. So you open them and you close them, depending on like how much draft you want. So we can camp in it, you know, maybe get like a little fan and sit the fan up there and point it towards the window or whatever. But, uh, you can camp in it, it just doesn't have AC yet. We'll get there. Um, we're going to paint everything that's blue we're going to paint. So bumpers, uh, wheel wells, wheels. Um, somebody did put this up here on here. It's a toilet flange, which I find repulsive. But <laughs> I think someone was using like one of those portable AC units and was like routing the air into this little hole up here and then uh, you know they didn't want moisture or anything to get in there so they taped it up so <clears throat> that's my least favorite thing about the whole thing that's got to go i'm not going to drive around with a toilet flange on the top of my camper I'm just not going to do it <laughs> uh, it's got this nice little nifty roof rack um also getting painted we're either going to go with a another blue a green or we may go with black but black's kind of boring um so this is the little kitchen area and forgive me for a minute okay uh, the we got to fix the little latch here that holds the door open but um we got to see about the propane this is another reason so here's another propane lantern um and this cooktop is another reason i'm really excited about the propane um this is an ice box not a refrigerator an ice box um so let's see i'm gonna have to open this with one hand okay because I'm holding the other one up with my other hand. So, ice box, which is pretty neat. Uh, a nice little drawer with all the extra screws and stuff from the, I guess everyone else who's worked on this or whatever. Oh shit, hold on. Had to put the phone down to get that closed, but these are little spice boxes. Um, this is like an old match receptacle. Not sure what this hole here is for. At first we thought maybe paper towels, but that space isn't big enough. So, um, yeah, we're going to see what we can do about this. The old Formica is really cool. So if I could find some of the old Formica and redo the sides and back and anything that's damaged, that would be really cool. Oh, there's also right in here. I'm not going to pull it out, but there's a little table that hooks right here and has like a stand that mounts right there. And so when you're standing here cooking, you can like turn. And there's a table like right here. So, uh, okay. Gotta get this thing down. All right. Uh, whew, 
good grief. Holding that, that door is heavy. Holding that for a while was tough. But uh, the other door is the same. Yeah, there's nothing really different. Um, but we're going to try and rebuild them. And we got to replace these little stoppers. And just little bitty things like that. And then take this one. Crumbs. Hey, sit. On a camping trip. You go camping, baby. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, let me know, guys, if you think, uh, what color I, you think I should paint it. And if you think I should paint like a stripe all the way, like the whole bottom portion. Because I can't decide. It'd be kind of cool to paint it like green with like a green stripe all the way across. Maybe put some little like white trees on it or something. I don't know. Let me know what you think.